Hello everyone, Troopa and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. Last time, we arrived here at Holodrum, where, surprise, surprise, t trouble has started up yet again. And we have to go save Din from the, the General of Darkness, Anox, though. And we've been tasked to go into but the Makatree and, and, well, and go save Din. And, well, we also, the Makatree also gave us this key, the gnarled key to, basically, key, 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 yeah, it also says the key that Makatree gave you, though, but... Yeah, there's an area that's up over in this area here where we well that well there that we have to go that we have to go to here so and it's well up a critical place over here so up over this way here there's, these, there's this bridge over here to the to the left right here and yep as you expect the key goes right here and well yep that's our first dungeon the Gnarled Root Dungeon. And there's definitely a good bit to say about this dungeon here, so... First, first off, basically, doors are locked on all the sides over here. Push this block over here to open up all the doors here. And, well, if you go up over here, there's, a, there's an old man up here that basically gives you some advice. Return light to unlit torches. Would be a useful thing to, to basically tell everyone. Like, again, it's a good thing for first-time players, though, but... But I'm far from a first-time player. And, well, again, we, we had this exact same type of puzzle in... In, in Oracle of Ages. And so we're gonna go ahead and just... And so now, get past those guys there, and that'll cause a key to drop down as hit by that odd-colored tile there. There was something special there. And so now we're gonna go ahead this... Actually, actually I was wrong. Uh, I, I, was, I didn't need to push that block that time there. I, way to go, me. Okay. That was what you need the key for. Chest will appear here, killing all... If you kill all the enemies here and sold the... And so that though, but the dungeon map, and this is the first thing I want to go over. Actually, as soon as I can work my buttons right, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Select and yeah, this that's that's this place though. And the thing I want to go over with this, uh, talk about this. Doesn't the shape of that dungeon look a little familiar to veter to you vet to any veteran players out there? Hmm. And anyone at all? Yeah, that's not the only bit I'm going to be talking about with this here. So, and also we already have the minecart. We already have the minecart thing that, that that we saw from that we that we saw from more that we saw from Oracle of Ages. Yep, those are going to make those types of puzzles are going to make a return. Got some got some boomerang moblins over there, and got more of these blade traps over here. And actually, okay, that means I do need to kill all these guys then. And then I'll cause that to go there and. To open up there. And so now, we, yeah, we got more of these sliding block puzzles over here. Like I said, more or less the same stuff that we've seen before. And the solutions really aren't too bad, though. But yeah, this dungeon right here. Just the just the shape of the, of the dungeon is enough to say. You can tell where the, some of this is going as well. And I did kind of go over it a little bit in, when I was in Oracle. Talking about, when I talk about when I was in Oracle of Ages there. And yeah, yeah, I know I completely just glossed over the Gasha seed that I, that I just got from that chest over there. There's a Gasha, there is a Gasha, there's a place for the Gasha to see, like, just outside the dungeon here. But over here, got the compass, so yeah, all the usual stuff there, and... I assume I can work my buttons, right? That's probably gonna be a recurring thing in this one thing. Yeah! The boss is over there to the right-hand side. I'm trying to remember if that's also the thing from the last I know, because my knowledge of it is not as limited, is a little more limited, it's been so long since I played it. But yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. I mentioned I'm, I'm tired of beating around the bush here, because I said last I said back in Oracle of Ages that 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 yes yeah, some that this this actually started off with Oracle Seasons. It actually started off as a remake of the original of the original Zelda game, the, the original one on the NES. Got bombs right over there, so that that's another cool thing we get right out right off the bat. But yeah, but yeah, the shape of the dungeon there. I can, right, it's select, not start. I, why do I? That's good. That is, that is going to be a recurring thing of this one. That, that is three times within the second video, with the first dungeon, I messed that up. That is definitely going to be a recurring thing. But yeah, so. So now we're going to head back over this way here. Well, yeah, gee, I wonder where we got to place the bomb. Any, anything that's cracked? It's it's pretty it's usually pretty suspicious. More often than not, it's it actually it, it, it you can bomb it away. So, 
Got this little, got a blade trap room over here though, where, where they're pulling out all the stops with the blade traps right out of the bat. Wow. I mean, the, but yeah, and that's also something with this game as well that I should talk talk about as well. The puzzles in this game, let's be able to say the puzzles in this game aren't quite as complex as the ones in Oracle of Ages, but there, there's a lot more action to the. It's like a lot more of the action in this one, you know, like it's a, tr tricks like that, and, and well, growl, you cannot pass. We got a mini boss right here. Got, we got these two. Got these two enemies here, and they will toss boomerangs to each other. And I think they go out this. I don't know if they go off the same health bar, but yeah, when you kill one, you kill the other one too. So yeah, I think they do run off like the same health meter though. It's, it's like one health meter. That you, they have to start once, and you just gotta kill one of them. I'm not entirely sure how that works though, but but yeah. So got this little part over here though. Go down over here and got ourselves a little passage there. And well, there's something for us right up there. If you played Oracle of Ages, it, it should look familiar. It's the seed satchel. Has 20 ember seeds. So yeah. We can now light those torches that that the old man basically told us to to do. We can now light those torches again. So, and so yeah, that's kind of the general gist of how the other dungeons of this game, though. Because I mean, there's gonna be some puzzles and all that stuff there, but this one is the puzzles. Of this one I find usually, for the most part, usually aren't as complex. There's some, definitely some stuff in the later dungeons though that are a little more interesting though. But but yeah, and also there's something for the something in this one here that just happened there. We saw in Oracle of Ages that the, those war points take us back to the usually are back at the entrance of the, of the dungeon. Not so for this one here though. And actually, I think and I, th I think it was also the well actually no what, what it was was the mid boss point of the Jabba Jabba's belly that was different though. But yeah, don't don't take that as like as a as a new thing though. It it still does that. The game, this game still does that for the most part. That's, this one's more the it just starts off with the exception. There. Boss key over there. So yeah, now we can go to that boss over. That we, that we saw on the map there, so... So let's go on and head back down. Gotta kill, gotta kill all these Stalfos again. At least these aren't the, the leaping ones. They, 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 don't, they wouldn't throw them that... They're not throwing them at us that fast. And so, gotta push that block one more time. And and now we can... And now that we have the Ember Seas, now we can finally move on past this point because we had those torches that were blocked. These on the torches that basically... For some reason, that they, because there were... Unlit, the door was locked. Don't ask me what, how, again, don't ask me how that works. And of course, start, speaking of starting right out the gate with action, of course, they're gonna start us off with the Floor Masters! Ah, oh, gosh, I hate these things so much. I hate, I hate Floor Masters so much. Especially in this game, though. The Wall Masters are the ones that. The, the, the wall masters are the ones that go, go for more, a little more of the jump scare in the 3D games, though. But the floor masters are still very creepy. And of course, they again, if they again if they grab you, it, it's back to the entrance of the dungeon with you. All right, spin attack, and the, and there we go. So, boss door right here. So let's go ahead. We got full health, and this is Aquamentis. Another similarity to the first one there. First boss of the game is this dragon. Simple enough, just slash at the horn. And I said, this one's a little. T I, I'm not so sure which one's gonna be tougher because or the original NES game's tougher in there. Now, Aquamanus did have another. Does have another attack in this one where he can basically go for a ramming attack. It, it, you do get slight warning when the horn flashes as well, but yeah, still pathetically easy like in the NES one. So yeah. This, this dungeon right here pretty much is the remains of what was basically some big remains of what what this game was originally supposed to be. A remake of the NE of the original NES Legend of Zelda. But we got our first essence. The fertile soil. Seeds scattered across bountiful lands are nourished in this fertile soil. So yeah, that's our first essence of nature. And like last time, the Maku Tree will communicate with us after after clearing a dungeon. It's me, the Maku Tree. Some of the fertile soil has come to me, too. I already feel stronger. Or oh, my dreams. I saw the Temple of Seasons in a strange land I do not know. There I saw a precious item that will aid you, Link. That is all I can see now. So yeah, like before, the Maku Tree will give us hints about what to do next, though. And 
Guess who's here from... From Laburna and flying around like that, that means she's already got something good. Hey, Maple! And uh, Oh, you've got the... You've got a magic potion over there. And you've got a ring over there. I'm, I'm not, I can't find any long, long eggs, and now this I'll just take the stuff you dropped, too. Oh, you're st Okay, so, you, so, so you're going for the... So, so, you, so you went for the ring first? I thought you were going to go for the magic potion first. So yeah, I got a free magic potion right at the gate. There, again, again, what what Maple carries is completely random, so there's no there's no way to set anything there. So I think actually, I'm trying to remember if there's something more to do here. Up over here, yeah, I tell him what to climb because okay, I have to care for our hands, but there's so much I don't know. So the, so yeah, no, you you want to remember this for a little bit later because. Like in the first game, though, there's a trade sequence here, so... And that's, that, that's part of the trade sequence, and of course, Maple's part of the trade sequence as well. But there's one more thing I want to show real fast. Burn this tree right over here, there's an entrance... Take a passage over here, and... These little... These things right here are basically are reminiscent of the ones before, like... I, again, I've talked about them before in ages, though. Shh, don't tell. So he basically... He basically gave us 100 rupees there, but yeah. But yeah... There's these different ones that where basically some of them will give you money, some of them will take money from you to basically pay for fixing the door. So yeah, that that's that's carried over from as well though. And again, all, they, they, they there were similar ones to this in well in the original Zelda in, in the original NES Zelda game. Yeah, okay, plant a gosh seed here. So yeah, sure, let's do that there and let's get away from that Zora that's trying to shoot us. So yeah, that's we made some good progress here. We've already got to the first dungeon, which really isn't that long. I've already met Maple. Already got a magic potion, so which means I'm in good shape in case I actually end up taking a lot of damage. And well, we've already and well, we've already we've also started seeing some of the couple of people that we need to see for our for the trade sequence this time around. Now, so I think this is a good time to end off this video. So next time we're gonna be looking for the Temple of Seasons as the Maka Tree has instructed us to do. So till then, see you guys then. Thank you all for watching.